It's happening, like the Bible said. The Holy Scriptures foretold the signs of the last day's prophecies, and now they're happening. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more prophecy news updates around the signs of the last days. And now we have this. As Iran was planning an attack on Israel from Syria, then nature itself attacked Iran in their own country. We gave a prophecy, live prophecy update, news update, last night that Israel was on high alert for a possible Iranian attack. Israel went on a high alert bracing for a potential Iranian missile or drone strike with the Israeli Defense Force identifying an Iranian Air Force forming in Syria to hit Israel with a revenge attack of missiles or armed drones. It was a revenge attack because Israel, here just a week and a half ago, had hit an Syrian slash Iranian base, military base in Syria. Israel had hit this base in Syria and they had destroyed a lot of Iranian military equipment and they had killed several Iranian Revolutionary Guardsmen. And since then, Iran has been on the move to get a revenge attack against Israel. And Israel intelligence evidently had said that they were seeing this Iranian Air Force forming in Syria to hit Israel with a revenge attack. And Israel had also canceled a drill in the U.S. to keep their F-15 jets on alert, on alert at their home base in Israel. But then, instead of Iran attacking Israel, Iran was attacked itself in its own country by nature, by God's nature with a massive sandstorm that turned daylight into darkness as it swept through Iran. And then they were also hit with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake, which struck in Iran near their only nuclear power plant. So it was just suddenly, as they were about to plan to do harm against God's chosen people, that suddenly nature itself turned against Iran in its own country. Here's a clip that just shows absolutely you absolutely massive this sandstorm was that tore across parts of Iran. reported that this massive sandstorm tore across Iran and turned daylight into darkness as it swept through, the, swept through parts of the country. It blocked out the sun. You saw how it did that and how it just covered cities, sending people running for cover. And there were several people that were injured. And uh, the footage, like we just showed you of the incident from social media, just showed a wall of, of, a, of powerful sand and dust as it, as it approached uh, cities. And uh, uh, one man said that everything is becoming brown. It's like misty and brownish, the man said. And then this was interesting. He said, I don't know what this is. Apparently, it's not normal. And you are seeing something very special, very special. Not normal, not a normal thing, but a super normal, supernatural thing. And then on top of this massive sandstorm that struck Iran, they were also hit with a 5.9 magnitude earthquake also that shook Southern Iran. The news report said here that it struck very near Iran's sole nuclear power plant, and which has always been a concern about their nuclear program. And this earthquake struck very close to that, and it was so strong that it not only shook southern Iran, but it also shook Bahrain and other areas around other countries around the Persian Gulf. And, and what this is so uh, mindful of, what this reminds me of, is what the prophecy says. These are signs of the prophecy, exact signs of the prophecy of Ezekiel 38. Because just in this event, to where Iran was planning to do harm against Israel, which Israel was on high alert for. Then suddenly nature struck Iran with this massive, unnormal sandstorm and this 5.9 magnitude earthquake right when they were planning and Israel was concerned about Iran doing harm to Israel. And the prophecy says in Ezekiel 38 that with the Gog of Magog prophecy that when Iran along with Russia and the rest of its allies are about to, when they invade Israel, when they together invade Israel like the Gog of Magog prophecy describes, the prophecy says that the very same thing is going to happen is that the fury of God will come up in his face and God will speak and nature itself will turn against them and destroy them. And these are signs of that last day's prophecy. Oh my goodness, I just feel chills. These signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, ladies and gentlemen. And it is time to realize that we live in the last days near the coming of Jesus Christ our Lord. Even so, come Lord Jesus and his coming is soon. Be ready.